Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about a visual display of data called a stem and leaf display. As an example of a stem and leaf display, we're going to use this data and we're going to categorize it according to the tens place digits. So you can see that the lowest value in the data set appears to be 15 and the highest value is somewhere in the 50s. So the stem is going to be the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, tens, twenties, thirties, forties, and fifties. And then we're going to use the ones place digits and place them next to the correct tens place digits. So for example, the first number 15, which I'm going to cross off because I've used it, is going to give us a five next to the one. The next number is 58, and that gives us an eight next to the five. The next number is 37, so we place a seven next to the three. The next number is 42, so we place a two next to the four. The next number is 20, so we're going to place a zero next to the two. And the next number is 27, so we're going to place a seven in the two row. So it's gonna go next to that zero for the 20. And then we're gonna continue in this matter, 36, 57, 29, 42, 51, 28, 46, 29, 58, 55, 43, 40, 56, and 36. We call these ones place digit the leaves, where the tens place digits are the stems. So that's why this is called a stem and leaf display. You can also have a ranked stem and leaf display where the leaves are placed in numerical order. So the stem and leaf display on the right is ranked, and you can see it's the same numbers, but placed in numerical order. The stem and leaf display conveys the impressions that a histogram would without a drawing. But even better, it also preserves the exact data values. So if you look back at the stem and leaf display, you can tell not only are there more numbers in the 50s, but you can also identify specific numbers like the number 58, which appears twice. Here's an example from my labs where the stem has been split into two classes in order to accommodate more data. In other words, we have three digit numbers and we have too many that start with one zero or one one or one two. And if we tried to make a stem and leaf display that just started with one zero, one one, and one two, there would only be a couple of categories and it wouldn't be very informative. So instead, we are going to do half of the one zeros, which would be the numbers from 100 to 104. And then the other half of the one zeros here, which would be the numbers from 105 to 109. Then we're going to do half of the 110s, 110 to 114, and then 115 to 119 and so on. And in my labs, they have filled in a lot of the digits, but they've just left certain digits blank. So what you're gonna have to do is to go through the numbers one at a time and place them in the appropriate position. For example, 112, we already have, it's been placed here. So I'm going to mark that one off. 103 is next, and if you look in the 100 to 104, we don't have 103, so I'm gonna place the three there. 129 is next. If we go to 105 to 129, there is no 129 there, so I'm gonna fill in the nine. 122 is in the range from 120 to 124. We do have a 122 here, so just in case, I'm going to just cross that one off, see if there's another 122 that comes up later. 131 is gonna be in the 130 to 134 range. We don't have a 131, so I mark it there and mark it off. All of the uh, numbers from 115 to 119 are filled in, so anytime I come across one of those, like 118, I'm just gonna cross it off. 106 is in the 105 to 109 range, which is also all filled in. 110 is in the 110 to 114 range, which is also all filled in. And 109 is in the 105 to 109 range, which is also all filled in. I'm going to cross off 112 for the same reason. 103 is the second 103 that we have, so I'm going to put that in the 100 to 104 range and cross it off. 
when 18 is already filled in, when 17 is already filled in. All the ones that start with 11, 1, 1 are all filled in. 121, however, would be in the 1, 2 category, 120 to 124. But there's one there, so I'm going to leave and come back. 114 is going to be in the category that's already filled, and so is this other 114. So is 105, and 109, and 107, and 11, 112, 114, 115. These are all already listed, and we would continue in this way until we get to 122 again. And this time, I don't have a 2 already written, so I'm going to fill that one in. And we have 108, 110, 121. There's the other one there, so I'm going to cross that one off. 122 again, so another 2 is needed, and then I cross that one off. 119, 111, 102 are all taken care of. 111 again, 122 again, so we need another 2. 113, already taken care of. 122, another 2. And we've filled in all of the missing blanks, but let's just be sure. 117, 105, yes, we have that. 110, 118, 112, 114, and 115. So that's how you would complete this, what's known as double stem display, because it uses both the hundreds and the tens digit. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.